Hello all, Shoestring here. I reconfigured my uh, solar that I have set up for the well house, for the well pumps. So when the power goes out, there'll still be water. One of the viewers, and I appreciate the comment, said that I should connect it probably from the inverter straight to the battery bank which as you can see right there, I did. It is connected from the inverter straight to the battery bank. The battery bank goes down and is of course connected to, these are the fly power 100 amp hour batteries. And before people start jumping up and saying, wait a moment, you're only supposed to put four in parallel. I know that, but I did five anyway because it's my system and I do what I want to with my system. So we have at the moment 13.1, so they are all charged up. 13.1. can see the inverter is turned on and also reading 13. We're about to do another well test to see if it runs smoother than the last time. We I actually got the well pumps to work last time, but uh, it was a little shaky and I wasn't happy with it. So that's what we're out here today to do. We're going to try it again. Um, I'll clean all this up and make it look pretty if, my, if the system works. Right now I want to see what happens. So, inverter is on. Batteries are all set up. The charge controller, oh, is back here. It's blinking green, which means it's getting plenty of sun. I don't see how it's not very sunny out there, but okay. It knows its own business. And we're about to turn on the water and see what happens. All right. The well pumps have come on. Hopefully you can hear that. They are running. We're going to step back in here and see how our system is running. Inverter looks fine. Drop to 12.8. I normally use a meter when I'm doing this. I don't really trust the <coughs> volts on this. This doesn't read that out too well, but at the moment, okay, it pulled back up to 13. That's what I'm going to use. And of course, hopefully the well pumps will not stop. Now I have two well pumps. One brings it up out of the ground and puts it into an aerator. The aerator, of course, from there pushes it into the house. Give everyone a good view of the batteries. Most folks like to see the batteries. These are what I consider inexpensive lithium batteries, because shoestring doesn't have a lot of money. When batteries were a thousand dollars, he just couldn't do it. But now these, I believe, have dropped to around, I don't know, 300, three something, which is a pretty good price, I think. And so far, for everything else I've been doing, these batteries has worked really well. So, so far in the test, it's been doing really well. It seems to be running just fine. We don't have any type of voltage drop yet. Well, we have a little bit, none really to speak of, and it pulled right back up. Now, for those that don't know and haven't been watching my other videos, this inverter, it's a, I know, it's upside down, but that's how I had to set it up. It's an 8,000 watt Ames modified sine wave. Now it has a sine wave correct, which doesn't make it a pure sine wave, but it does help. It gets connected from here on the inverter. It goes down to a circuit breaker, of course. And then from there, it goes down into my automatic switch. The automatic switch is for, of course, when the power goes out of the house, this automatically kicks in. 
and this goes down, of course, into the ground, and that goes over into the house. There's another circuit breaker outside. We do not want to burn the house down. The inverter at the moment, even though it's not pretty looking because I'm just testing, is connected here, negative, positive. And this ground back here, this green one, that's the ground. That's to make sure everything's grounded properly. And that ground goes into the charge controller, which controls it, and then into the ground. A quick overview real quick. We're at 13.2. So it appears to be running everything extremely well without the system shaking and the batteries going all crazy, which they did last time. Even though I got it to work last time, it didn't run smooth and I wasn't happy with it. But a viewer, like I said, recommended straight to the inverter, <coughs> from the inverter to battery, which I just did. Shoestrings learned a lot over the years from other folks giving them a hand. Another point I like about these batteries, by the way, is they came with their own charger, their lithium charger that's made to go with this battery, and I like that. Because it can be pretty confusing to pick out what kind of charger is going to work with what lithium battery. So I'm glad they sent this one, and it works really well, if anyone's interested. Oh, by the way, no, I do not make any money <coughs> off this. I do not get any money from YouTube. Fly Power doesn't give me any money. When I do Harbor Freight videos, they don't give me any money. People I get the cables from don't give me any money. I just do this to help you all out. I know I might take some somebody offered, but nobody ever has and probably never will. So this channel I set up to give everyone an opportunity because there were so many questions about solar out there to see how my little systems are set up. This is just how I do it. And so far, we are running the well pumps really nice. So thank you for telling me that I should connect the inverter straight to the batteries. Now normally I do that on my smaller systems, but this charge controller, this TA45 Morningstar charge controller, TriStar, is uh, set up to run the charge controller as well. Everything should be able to run right through here. And obviously it's not doing what I ask it to do. And I'll recheck that. But at the moment, we want the well pumps to work. And it appears from the reports from inside, the well pumps, they are running water and doing showers. And everything seems to be running just fine. So we will call that a successful test. If you like these kind of videos, of course, please... Put something down in the comments. Tell me something you'd like to see. Give me a tip. This whole video right here was made because somebody gave me a tip. Right? Yeah, I know. I need to come out here and clean these batteries up again, which I'll probably do this afternoon. So if you like these kinds of videos, please subscribe and like. And put something down in the comments. I get a lot of suggestions on videos to make. Things people want to know by the comments below. Shoestring out.